Hello guys, it's I, Adam now, and this is another Nintendo Switch video about the trailer. And this is about five hidden details inside the Nintendo Switch trailer video that you may have missed. So, here we go. So guys, I'm going to be showing you also pictures or videos at the same time, talking about or showing, describing the things I'm talking about. So, one of the things is the Joy-Con controller, the slidable controllers. It seems like there's two different kinds. I've noticed in the trailer that the guy in the airplane when he's uh, playing the console in the airplane, you know how like he'll take him out and there is a soldier, soldier, <laughs> soldier, I can't say the word right now, soldier, you know, the, the buttons on the top part, like the L and R buttons, um, those buttons, uh, they're there obviously in the controller and, and you could see it, but I noticed there's another part in the trailer the part where the girl's outside with some friends playing the switch with some friends I, If you notice closely, there's some buttons right here on the side to play like I guess depending on the way you're using the controller um, It'll depend on Like Left controller right controller depends on who's gonna use it which players But there's controllers actually within the part where it slides in and connects to the switch I've noticed and then there's these other buttons on like the other side that are also like shoulder buttons there I said the word right shoulder buttons um, But I noticed there's kind of like two different versions There's the one without it which these show prominently and then there's the one with those shoulder buttons on the smoothen side and I'm wondering like is there a difference between those two controllers? Are they actually just two controllers or has it just been filled in two different parts and they decide to get rid of it? Um, I, I don't know. It's kind of kind of strange. Obviously, we're not gonna get any details about that anytime soon um, But yeah, also another side thing is people have been thinking on the right Joy-Con controller on the bottom. There might be a IR sensor for maybe using the other one as a Wiimote like device because I'm pretty sure They're gonna keep continually motion control. We just know how it works. Um, so that it's just rumors right now about the IR thing. The second detail is that I actually found out, and I was I was kind of looking around online, like where did they film this stuff? Because I'm curious. Because I also just I'm I like film things and video, and I found out uh, I was looking at the image of the go kart place. It showed a name. And I'm like, what is that? And I saw the the three letters. I looked it up, and I found out online that actually the whole trailer was filmed in Vancouver, Vancouver, Canada. Basically the LA of Canada, kinda. Um, but yeah, so they actually show a lot of the locations, many, many different places in Vancouver. Uh, the stadium is in Vancouver, the house in Vancouver, or, or the cities or areas around Vancouver, basically. Uh, that place underneath the bridge where they played basketball under, in Vancouver, all those places. But also another tidbit is actually one of the actors that was in the video actually came out and started it had an interview with game explains uh youtube channel and website i think it's game explains um and he showed he talked about his experience and how he got basically like on the shoot and um i won't say the whole article but um it's really cool like someone that he's really into like nintendo has been around playing it for so long and he just like him and his friends went and went to the audition to see if they'd get it and Eventually he did and then he had no idea what it was for about Nintendo just he's doing something for Nintendo and he's like one of the first gamers To ever have touched the controllers now. He also talked about that There weren't actually games being played. So everything you're seeing is actually a lot of um, Screen replacement a lot of it's basically VFX where you replace the screen you put the screen on um, that kind of stuff um, which there's also Something about the screen replacement. There's actually a lot of errors that they made in the video. I think if I make I make another video, I might make a video about showing those things. So if I make it well, then um, you could click on the the thing or the you know <laughs> the little annotation or the um, card YouTube card. But um, he said it was it fit pretty comfortably in his hand, so it felt comfortable, which doesn't look like it, it is in some parts. It looks really small. Um, and this guy, he actually has like a Twitch channel, YouTube channel, and everything. Um, and they had the interview with Game Explains, but it got taken down. And I'm wondering, huh, why did it get taken down? Because you can't see the video anymore. And I looked it up, and on their Twitter account, they actually mentioned that the interviewer, the interviewee in the video, actually said that they wanted it taken down. 
but I'm thinking that's probably more... It might have been Nintendo saying that. Um, because he talked about some details. Not thing big, but just more details about them being secretive and just behind the scenes of the shoot. And also the other thing was he said there was actually Nintendo higher-ups there at the shoot in Vancouver. So maybe Reggie was watching him. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't say who because he obviously can't talk about it. Um, that's just some of the hidden details behind the video. I kind of mixed Vancouver and the actor as a detail, but the fourth detail is actually the size of the controller of the um, tablet. Um, there's an educated guess that a Ars Technica made. Um, you could check out the specs about like the sizing of everything, but they basically used the um, thumbstick, the circle of it, to measurement to put measurements around the screen and see how big it is. And they they kind of say that. The controller is a little bit smaller than an NES controller by size, using that same guesstimate they made of um, the thumb pad. So it's kind of interesting. Um, it's obviously an estimate because we have no real dimensions yet. And there's also something also, the last, last hidden detail you've probably noticed, uh, maybe not, but there's actually going to be Amiibo support for the Switch. Now, they don't say how it's going to work and where it's going to touch to do the Amiibo support. I'm thinking, I don't I have no idea where they're going to put it on the uh, tablet side, the screen side. I'm probably thinking it's not even on it because there's no indicators anywhere. Um, I feel like maybe if they did do it on the screen, it'd be on the corner of the screen, any one of the corners. It's obviously not going to be in the back because that'd be really weird. You're just holding it up and you're like, oh, I'm going to put the Amiibo on the back. And you're all like, okay. Um, but I, the really place I'm thinking is that add-on controller, the base plate that puts the other, the two Switch controllers, the Joy-Cons left and right. I'm thinking right there, there's a big flat area, maybe right where it says Nintendo Switch. That could possibly be where the, um, what is it called? N the NFI, the, the sensor for the Amiibo's wireless connection. I'm thinking it's probably in that, in that section right there. So, yeah. It's gonna be cool. There's gonna be Amiibo support. Um, no Amiibos announced yet. Probably the old ones will work, cause that would suck if the old ones did not work. Um, and there's possibly gonna be new ones for the next coming up games. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Most of the stuff is just guessing, uh, smart guesses, and speculation and rumors. Um, except for the stuff in Vancouver and the actor. That's actually that's confirmed stuff. Um, so. Uh, there's nothing else to talk about this video, so thank you guys for watching. This is just me talking about these things that I found. Um, if I do make that a vid video, video, uh, talking too fast, that's the problem. Um, then check it out, some of the five potential problems within the Nintendo Switch tra trailer that I found. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you for um, sticking around. And if you want to subscribe, um, subscribe if you want, and thank you guys for coming by. I'll see you guys around. Bye.